Yo! What's going on guys? It's Josiah Art. We are back for the second video. You guys might notice that I sound a bit more lively this time because it is not four in the morning that I'm recording this video. It is 325 and I'm very tired. I just came home from taking a Regents exam that I probably failed. But whatever, we're not gonna get into that. We're gonna get into the topic of today's video. Drawing from reference, the benefits of drawing from reference. And you guys might immediately notice that the drawing in the thumbnail is a product of what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So yeah, drawing from reference. Uh, gonna say this for beginners. Um, this all Most of my videos are gonna be, uh, you know, very primarily for beginners. Uh, maybe up until later in the channel's life span. But right now it's for beginners. So, unless, or, or if you're a person who's currently drawing right now on like your digital tablet, if you're drawing in your sketchbook right now, if you're doing anything art related, um, I'm glad that you clicked on this video. You're gonna learn a lot. No, you won't. Maybe you will. Who see it? Who, who knows? You know, drop a comment if you learn a bit on how you can improve your art through reference drawing. So, the uh, what is reference drawing? Reference drawing is getting a model or whatever you want to inspire a piece off of or, or learn from. You get that and you draw it. Um, you don't copy, you draw it. Basically what I'm doing right now in the video. So the let's start first with the cons of, of this. I know it's very different to start with the cons of the topic in an art video, but I feel like it's very important to establish the cons of this thing because the cons are pretty important of, um, of this technique of improving your art. So the con, the big, big con that I see a lot of artists go through and it, it causes a lot of problems in the future for them um, is that you draw from reference so much and that you draw people and other things so much that you it becomes a crutch in, in your, your art, that you rely on it too much. That type of stuff is is very hindering to creativity. If you rely solely on models and whatever you you when you do draw your own thing it's going to be difficult it's going to be very hard for you to apply what you've learned maybe you'll apply some things like how to uh let's say how to color or but you won't really know how to structure certain things because they'll just end up looking like the things you've practice it, it very it hinders your creativity by in an in, in, in infinite amount um that is the main con it's like really the only you know, con i can really think of this video is unscripted of course so i'm just saying what comes off the top of my head in terms of cons and that's really the main um issue with drawing from reference is that people can rely on it too much to the point where it hinders their creativity. And then eventually it becomes a thing where they can't find their own style. And when you can't find your style, you start experimenting, experimenting. And yes, that's a good thing. However, you find your style early and you really develop that said style, you know, you, you, your art's going to be pretty amazing. So now they're about almost at the halfway point of the video. Let's get into the positives. What everyone came here for was in the thumbnail. The benefits, the positives of drawing from reference. Drawing from reference is possibly the best thing you can do when it comes to improving your artwork. It's it's what every artist most likely does that's you know popular. It's what they do. You have to. It's it's a necessity. Um, drawing from reference can lead to many things. It can lead to you learning new techniques. It can lead to you, you know, 
applying techniques that you've learned before in new kinds of ways that you know you find works um and it could just teach you how to structure certain things like how to draw an eye how to draw a woman how to draw a car how to draw a guy how to draw hands and and, and etc um however the best thing for me personally in this piece I was really going for rendering and how and really trying to improve my rendering if I you know had something I could base it upon um here I I really wanted to focus on the color and I wanted to get the color and the shading right I wanted to get each pigmentation correct and I do feel like I achieved that maybe I I could put a comment the, tell me how good it was uh no I think it was all right. I think it came out okay. You'll see at the end. But when it comes to positives, it, it's it's really improving. It, it's it can improve your art in countless countless ways. Like for me in my first video, I did talk about how I first started art, basically copying. And at the time, I didn't really know it. But after copying, I started to do reference drawing. I remember. Very fondly, one of my best drawings as a kid was a drawing of Robert Downey Jr. on like half the page and Iron Man on the other half. And it was a uh, pencil uh, drawing and it was very, very beautiful for my age. It was I was like 10 at the time or 12 or something like that, but it was very good. And whenever I do reference draw, I feel like it, it levels me up in a sense. Um, Whenever I I do it, I end up, you know, learning how to do things faster. Like in this drawing, for instance, this is the best rendering I've ever done. And now I know how to really do it in a quick fashion, in a quick and precise and efficient way. You know, with drawing from reference, people will call it copying. It's okay to copy. It's okay to draw from reference. I hate when people say, oh, he... You draw it from reference, like, uh, you're not, you're not skilled. You suck if you draw from reference. Like, man, shut up! You don't know nothing, nothing. Artists who draw from reference come out to be the best. The I just spit on myself. My bad. The best artists. They are the best. Sorry if my uh mic is kind of like screeching i don't know what the sound is i don't really care I'm trying to get a point across you know it, it's i really hate that that's just one of my hated things when people say that because you know i i do have that opinion towards copying copying i feel like is downright plagiarism and no one should do it because it really doesn't help your art as much as you think it does helping your art is doing like what i do here like it came to a certain point where yes, I was following the colors and I was following the overall structure of the model and how she looked in the light and what she was wearing and her hair. Not really though, because the hair I did go off beat to try to make it my own. I felt like she could look more world worn, if that's the right word for it, and you know, look just more messy. So I gave her a little messy type of hair, and I felt like it, I, I just tried to make it more my own i didn't want to make an exact replica of the um original art and that's that's the thing with reference drawing everyone should try to make it their own if you make it your own and apply you know your own sense of style like here with all the highlights and stuff that i do and the color dodging later on i do like freckles i were never even there um it's little stuff to make it your own that eventually will pay off you know, it's going to pay off in how you color things. You're going to try to replicate that style and, you know, you're going to find out here. I'm just going to talk about the piece for the rest of the video. I feel like I'm dragging on the point for too long. You guys get it. You know, drawing from reference improves your art in various ways. Blah, 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 blah. Just don't copy. Don't copy. But drawing from reference is okay. You know, just make it your own and it'll improve your art greatly. But here at the end, I was going in black and white just to check my values. I do tend to do that sometimes. Um, and I was going back just to try to... I didn't really focus on the hair. I didn't really care. But here, the purple um, 
how a rim lighting I do here was, I feel like brought the piece together and made it look, you know, really much better than it could have possibly looked. It's basic color theory. You got a warm light, uh, cold shadows, and vice versa. So yeah, this is coming to an end. Uh, putting in my signature, doing some high pass and a bunch of other filters just to see some stuff. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share. And it's Josiah Art. And I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all later. Ah.